What's up, bitches? Today, um, I'm gonna cook, but I'm not just gonna cook. I'm making salmon carbonara, so it's not that exciting. I'm also not the best chef in the world, but it's okay. I can cook when it needs to be done. I just don't really fucking enjoy it. Do you get what I mean? Plus, I, f I feel like once I've finished cooking for myself, I'm not no longer hungry. So unless I'm cooking for someone, I don't care. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna make salmon carbonara, and we're also gonna be talking about what 12 years of Tory rule has meant so far so first of all let me wash my hands and while I wash my hands let's talk about what this shit started um 2010 yeah David Cameron and I feel like a lot of people don't realize like people are like yeah David, David Cameron it wasn't that long ago it was already 12 it was fucking 12 years ago that he came into power and uh, a lot of people don't realize how much his reign in 12 years ago, I say reign, his um, time in power 12 years ago uh, impacted um, a lot of the things that are happening now. Like the reason that a lot of our public self services are absolutely failing is because uh, David Cameron was an absolute fool. He is also the man that decided to, uh, guys, I'm getting so into this that I'm forgetting what, what to do with the pasta, right? Uh, part for the pasta. Um, He's also the very same man who, should I take you along with me, should I move you along? He is also the very same man who, um, I've said that so many fucking times, bruv. Thank fuck for editing, right? Yeah. He is also the very same man that, uh, and I said it again, that decided to make a Brexit a thing because they were so, the Conservative Party, while well, under his leadership, was so scared of losing very far right wing voters uh, to UKIP because these voters, uh, not voters, sorry, um, members of the party, uh, because they were saying that, like, oh yeah, it's not right wing enough, blah, 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 we're gonna go to UKIP. So they were like, oh yeah, let's like make this a debate for the general public. Um, and David Cameron, although the man did uh, vote for Remain, he didn't win. Oh, my battery. Alright, fucking hell, 20% battery, I get it. Fucking read. Hi, you guys. Anyways, um, yeah. Alright, yeah, cool, he wanted to remain in the European Union, but despite him wanting to do that, that's not what went down, is it? No, you fucking idiot. Because Boris Johnson decided to lead, uh, lead the Leave campaign. And then what did David Cameron do the moment things didn't go his way? He up and left, even though it was his idea in the first fucking place. Then after David Cameron, we get fucking Theresa May and whoop de doo Ooh, Piece of pasta flew away. Uh, whoop de doo she's um, a second female prime minister. Oh, yes, feminism, yes, yes. Fuck, no feminism. I wouldn't have rather another man than her. How can your whole own party uh, just go against your Brexit plan? She should Brexit proposal. She was just a mess. She did nothing right. Like, yeah. I, and then after her to the rescue comes Boris Johnson. Fucking Bojo. Let's not get started on Bojo. This man was such a joke to the point where I don't think people realised how detrimental he was to us. He cost us thousands of lives. He was way too slow in reacting to COVID. The man lied to our faces and were throwing parties while people were dying and we weren't able to say bye to our loved ones. What else did this man do? Uh, defended Dominic Cummings, defended so many other people. He's been caught out on so many lies. But do you know what? I am not surprised because this man... Sorry, I'm waiting for my water to boil before I can put my pasta in, guys. Uh, let me show you what's going on in this situation. I can't fucking... There you go. Pasta's there. Kettle's on. There's my ingredients. Got some salmon, parmesan, egg, egg, double cream. I'm going to add spinach to mine because I like spinach. Uh, salt, pepper, I haven't got my seasonings in now. Seasonings, there's some there. And this is, no, that's this one's my favorite, but I haven't got it out. Uh, this is actually me just trying to show you guys that I have seasoning uh, so people uh, don't try to get at me because of the fact that I'm white. Uh, and also, I meant to add lemon zest to this, but like, I have like half a lemon. Let me start recording this way. I have like half a lemon that I used for a drink. So I'm just gonna still use it, but it's just not the most practical thing. Anyways, Boris Johnson. I, I don't understand why people are surprised that this man fucked up so much. When this man was a journalist, he was lying. He was racist. 
he was homophobic. This man literally said that Muslim women in hijabs, uh, burqas, sorry, remind him of letterboxes, and we thought that this man was going to be the right candidate to lead the country. Fuck no. And then what after him? Because he finally decided to resign. The one good thing the man did was finally decide to resign. Took him fucking long enough, and it took a lot of mistakes, but he did it. Yeah, cool, fantastic. After him, we get fucking this trust. An anti-climate psycho. She's just crazy, bruv. Have you guys seen the clips of Liz Truss? Like, the way she speaks, the way she presents herself, just, uh, she, she's also just backtracks on a bunch of shit. She fucking, uh, her, within, she what, shortest reigning, shortest, shortest living, not the shortest living, Jesus Christ, don't wish death on anyone, shortest fucking going prime minister, 44 days, and do you know how much she fucked up? She made the pound dip. The pound is one of the highest valued currencies and she made that shit dip all because of her stupid budget that had nothing in the cost of and do you know what she didn't have a difficult job to do like she didn't the queen the queen had just died we're in a cost of living crisis about to go into recession we are in recession actually fuck that you didn't have a difficult job to do the expectations for her weren't high but she still managed to go and fuck it up and then after her we get rishi sunak the richest man in the country. The man who has more money than the monarchy. Yeah? And he seems like the appropriate candidate for a country that is filled with working class people, uh, people from lower socioeconomic backgrounds, uh, people who are currently going into poverty because of the ever-expanding cost of living crisis. He is a man who tax evades. He is a man who has owned up to taking money from underprivileged areas and putting them in more developed areas. And this is the man we've put in charge. And the worst part is, guys, he's come into power through clearing. Like, this man has actually come into power through clearing. He was just, like, the next best choice. So let's actually review what the 12 years... that the 12 years... How many prime ministers was that? Three. Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak, Liz Truss, and another two. Five prime ministers in 12 years. And what have they done other than absolutely drive this country into the ground? We are now an anti-immigration, police-loving, secrecy-loving, 1% fucking up the ass because we love the 1% and we love the rich. Rich get rich, poor get poorer country. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I, I understand that a lot of historical events have happened over the span of those years, like Russia invading Ukraine. Yes, that spiked up gas prices, yes. COVID, obviously COVID put a lot of pressure on the NHS. The NHS has been getting driven into the ground for years by the Tories, by constantly cutting funding and doing stupid shit. Like, why are we increasing funding in police and stopping search powers for them to stop people for weed, a Class B drug that in reality should be legalised because most other progressive nations are legalising it, instead of putting money in stuff like the NHS? Or stuff like youth centres, if you're going to try and put money into those kind of services, put in youth centres, if you want less knife crime, if you want less gang violence, put your money where your mouth is, not where it's easiest. But do you know what? It's the government. How much can you expect from the Tories? But having said all of that and having absolutely rambled on about how shit the Tories are, at this point in time, Labour ain't much better. Under Keir Starmer, no thank you. No thank you. Sorry, I keep coming to move you guys. Under Keir Starmer, the Labour government, any no better than the Tories, is basically just like BTEC Tories. This man is not a leader of the opposition. His whole time as the leader of the Labour Party, he has not once presented a solution that is actually an opposing view for, to what these men are saying or an actual plan that could get us out of the situation that we're in. It, instead, he's just been slapping them on the wrist like, oh, you could do this. He's more concerned about making him seem like, himself seem like a better bigger better public speaker or a better personality than he is to making himself seem like he's got a better policies which this shit is really all about these lots are more concerned about going back and forth at like the pmqs hackling each other trying to see who's got a better comeback who's got a be better dig than they are at the fact that people kids people are dying because of fucking poverty people aren't able to heat their houses people aren't able to put food on their table talking of food this was definitely meant to be a talk politics and cook video with me and all I've done is talk politics and boil some pasta. So what I'm going to do is go back to my cooking and then show you guys the final product at the end because apparently I can't fucking multitask even though I'm a woman. Actually what it is I get too passionate about um, 
politics. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The low battery percentage is coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other content you want to see. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. All of that moist fucking shit. Alright? And I'll see you next time, you cunts. I love you all.